Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is part four of making my dragon bonsai pot. I took the plastic off the dragon and there was no problems with it today. Nothing fell off, nothing cracked, nothing broken. So I can just enjoy the day sculpting away. I'm going to start today by working on this dragon's foot. So I want to make the, the claws separate from the base of the foot so it's like nails or claws. The clay is at a nice consistency for carving now. It's not too soft, not too hard, it's just right. And they won't be the biggest claws in the world because, you know, it is made of clay. I don't want it, this pot to be too fragile when it's all done. I'm hoping, you know, the base I put underneath the pot will come around the foot so that'll help support this part of the sculpture. I've been working away at the dragon, detailing it, the feet, underneath the head. It's coming along. I'm happy with the work so far, so let's have a look at the progress. So here is a look at the dragon now. So you can see underneath the head, I've added the ribs here or the scales. And then I've added kind of uh, barbs or whiskers coming out from underneath the chin. And that here's this is my reinforcing part for the head. So I'm utilizing that, making it a feature rather than just something like a blob of clay in there. I've got the feet kind of roughed in. You can see the scales on the top here kind of match like what's on top of the fins. I've got the feet kind of uh, very roughed in. They're coming along. And I think that's about as far as I've gotten. I've, I've done a little bit of work on the head, just sort of roughing the teeth out. So. Yeah, it takes a while, all this detail work. You know, you have to come up with the concept and then try it out. And if it works well, then you go with it. But yeah, it's definitely coming along. The dragon is getting more detailed. Here's another update to the dragon. So you can see what I did with that reinforcing piece under the head. I made it like um, whiskers or barbs underneath the head. I started detailing in the scales on the head and the body here. Pretty plain around the back still. But, you know, it's making progress. So that's kind of the detail section of it so far. I'm really enjoying the detail work on the dragon pot. Let's go in and have a look at some more progress. Here is a look at the dragon sculpture. So I've been doing some more work on the head. And you can see it's all done under here, under the head. The foot's getting better. This back section, I've done a lot of shaping on it. I think it's pretty well ready to add the scales, which will really change the look of it. I've done a little more work on the tail sculpting this section underneath the tail a bit more and cleaning up these fins as I go around I, I just if I see one that's not looking so good I clean it up and I've started working on the other side of the head too I did a lot of work kind of laying the teeth out and getting those in place yeah so that's that's the dragon pot I'm really enjoying the detail work it really brings the dragon alive lots of fun Here's a look at my dragon pot from above. So I'm liking the scales. I think they look really cool. Yeah, it's coming along nicely, I think. There's the pot. It's time now for today's updates. We got some more rain last night, so I haven't had to water the trees outside for many, many days. It's been really nice. It's really allowed me to concentrate on working on the dragon pot. The first update for today is my large leaf Schifflera, which is in here. And you can see it's starting to get leaves on it now. I defoliated it and pruned it up. 
and now it's leafing out, which is really, really nice to see. Over here, I have my other crown of thorns, a newer one, and this has large leaves, and you can see it's starting to flower. It's got these pink flowers coming on the top. So I haven't done any pruning to it yet. I'm just growing the trunk, and then I'll prune it off and start the branching process. Beside that, I have my bald cypress, and it's, it's growing really well. It's got new shoots coming on it. It's doing really, really well. On my sarissa over here, I was worried about this weak branch dying off, but it seems to be doing better. There's some, you know, healthy looking shoots on it, and there's also a bit of dieback. So a mixture of both, but it's hanging in there. It's, uh, I, I think it's going to survive. The tree itself is looking really good. It's starting to grow again with lots of vigor. It's even getting a few flowers on it. I think there's one in there you can see. Yeah, it's doing really well. Behind that I have my dragon style Schifflera. And you can see it's got all its leaves coming in now. Looking nice and healthy. Beside that, I have my hibiscus that I've pruned up twice. So all the shoots are coming in in the right places. It's looking good, it's developing nicely. Over here, I have a couple of ficus. The tiger bark ficus that looks like an elephant. It's growing all kinds of shoots up top here. It looks really, really good. Nice and healthy. Beside that, I have my Vietnam style ficus microcarpa, the ginseng ficus. And you can see it's growing quite a canopy on it. It's looking very, very full up top. So that's kind of nice to see. Here's an update to my miniature bonsai bench. It's uh, looking more realistic. I got a lot of weeds kind of growing in and over here. Certainly looks more like my bonsai bench with weeds. I did uh, weed the front area where a person would stand, keeping that clear, but I, I kind of like all these weeds. There's goldenrod in here and a few other ones. I still use the uh, little watering can almost every day watering my, my miniatures. It works really, really well. Just kind of drips out and it's the perfect amount you can get in all these small spaces so it's it's really really good some of the trees are growing quite well if you look at the Arizona cypress it has new shoots sticking up top on it this one's growing really really well the uh, dwarf Hinoki cypress the lantana is really filling in yeah, they're doing really well. The Portula caria afra's leafing out once again. The jasmine's doing well. Yeah, I, I really like the little miniatures. Over here, my desert rose forest, it continues to leaf out. Yeah, looking very kind of lush and green for this forest. My baobab trees here have survived the repotting. They're growing really, really well. They're getting branches on it now. So that's kind of exciting. I'm just gonna check the moisture level in the soil. It's damp, but it's not wet. So I think that could use watering tomorrow. I only water them if it looks like it's going to be a sunny day. And today was a sunny day. Well, part of it anyway. I don't like to leave the soil wet and then have you know, four or five days of cloudy weather, you might get root rot. So I'm being, you know, very cautious with the roots, only watering them fully, like I really fully drench it, if it's going to be sunny for the next couple of days. That gives that soil a chance to dry out. Everything's looking good in the Chinese village, Penjing. It's looking lush and green. I have to do some weeding. I've got a lot of liverwort forming here. So that needs weeding and has a few other weeds in it too. But the trees are doing really well. They're looking very nice and healthy. Over here is that dwarf pomegranate that I got last year. 
and it is all flowering, which is exciting. There's a yellow leaf I can pull out there. Yeah, it's doing really well. It, it's not that old and it's kind of a skinny little tree, but yeah, it's growing really well. Over here in the poly house, I also have the dwarf pomegranate of Zins. He gave it to me because he had to cut down on his trees. So here it is here. Let me pull it out if I can. There. So you can see how much it's grown. It's looking really, really healthy. That pruning worked quite well. It's not 100% successful, but it's working quite well. Yeah, I think it'll be a good looking tree in the future. It's really nice out here in the greenhouse. I have these lights that Ross got me. There's one here and you can see there's a motion detector on it and there's a solar panel that keeps them charged. And I've got another one over here. So whenever I walk into the greenhouse here at night, the lights come on and it's quite bright. I can water all my trees in here. I could prune them, I could do anything. It's uh, quite nice. So whenever I uh, come in the greenhouse and the lights come on, I always think of Ross. Good old Ross. Yeah. So that's it for the updates for today. There's my dragon pot from above. Yeah, looking, looking good. And it, uh, I think it will survive the firing too. I'm going to have to stop the detailed work for today. I've got to have supper and then there's a cello concert downtown tonight that I want to see. That'll be exciting. So that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.